we will finally do it. Hopefully. Um, we will disassemble one of Apple's most beautiful and amazing engineered masterpieces, the Mac. <sighs> yeah, that was a little sarcastic. I mean, it's nothing new that Apple doesn't want you to get inside their computers, but this one is something special. Um, I've never had this open. I, I own this since 2011, and it really badly needs a clean. It is loud as heck. I think the fan is constantly spinning at 100 because something's blocking it probably just all the, the crap over the years um, but I never got it to open up I stripped some screws on it and never got this plastic uh, piece off so yeah that's that's I think the main thing that's that's putting the project on hold here this 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 plastic piece and why do I keep saying that well it they, you know, they can't use normal screws. They just can't. They can't use normal, regular, everyday Phillips screws or flat hat screws. No, they have to use Torx screws. And me being me, in 2011, I didn't have, uh, I didn't have the right tools, and so I tried with all sorts of stuff, but not the right tools, and that's why I stripped some screws. And I think we will have to drill one of one or two of those out. And um, it also doesn't help because it's old. Uh, it is just so old. It's from 2002, I think. And these screws have been in there all the time. You know, they're so stuck and they're probably uh, seized and, and I don't know. It, it, it's just that Apple sometimes really gets on your nerves. Now, in fact, I have been dealing with Apple and their bullshit for years. So here are all my different drill bits. Um, and, uh, no, here are my drill bits, and here are, uh, some screw, screw bits, and some more screw bits, some Torx, some longer, longer ones, and, I mean, you would, you would, no, 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 it's not everything yet, you would believe that this is enough. Got some more here, there, got some spatters up there, and some very tiny, teeny, tiny pentalobe screwdrivers also here. Here I got a security torx because normal torx can't can't be used. It just has to be security torx. I think that was for the Mac Mini. Um, yeah, and uh, I even bought a whole set of uh, proper torx screwdrivers so I can really put some force on them too. And those have been quite useful. But believe it or not, all of those screwdrivers, even some more down there. Here, let's see. There it is, really long ass special screwdriver for the Mac Pro. But believe me, not I've got all of these screwdrivers, but the iPhone 7. You would think you got every screwdriver. The iPhone 7 has a new kind of screw, the so-called uh, Y000 screw, and it's a special screw, of course, a three-point screw. That's what it's called, and I don't have that. So if I I got an iPhone 7 around or so, I will have to borrow. One of those from David, because he has bought a whole set of these stupid screwdrivers just uh, to be prepared, you know. Um, it doesn't have any problems except some minor ones. I think the optical drive is jammed. It doesn't go out. Uh, maybe it's just broken. Um, and it uh, is just ridiculously loud. And I know that these aren't quiet from the factory, but still, it's really loud. It's uh, unbearably loud, so it needs to get more quiet. Power button right there. Power input, all the ports, and I, I know that when this thing finally comes off, you have to be careful not to rip or uh, rip off the uh, power button uh, socket, uh, so then you can't power it on the machine anymore. That would be a shame. So yeah, even after you defeated them with their screw bullshit, they still fight you, and even then it's not getting easier at all. I mean, I have no experience with these guys. Uh. Damn. Such a fat ass machine. All right. Looks kind of like the Snapchat ghost from uh, this perspective. <laughs> anyway, let's start getting the screws out. What do we start with? We got one here that reveals RAM. 
And I think also the CMOS, maybe we'll see that. Yep, RAM and CMOS and also hard drive and optical drive connectors. 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 And also these need to come out and I know that those are really, really tight and seized up and they're a little stripped. So as I always do with everything, I will put it away for now and uh, come back to it later. <laughs> Let's try to get the torques out. Let's start with this one here. Oh, nice. That one comes out easy. That's how it should be. What is that? That's a, a Torx T10. This special screw with this little kink in it. This little, uh, see this, this shape? There we go. That also works. A real success for once. Screw two screws out. Wow. Every technician in the world who doesn't work on Max will all laugh, but, uh, if you work on Max a lot, you know that's a big achievement. It really is. Oh, there we already have it. This one is stripped. And that one, also stripped. Oh, ooh, not good at all. Try those two guys. That one turns. I think I screwed them in so uh, light on purpose. Because years ago I even got those out, so even with my get on S. Alright. Now I pay the, the the price for being ghetto, you know. Years ago I didn't use the correct torques and I stripped stripped all the screws and now you know I have to fight how to get them out. Alright. Let's see if those two come out. Oh, this one doesn't do. And this one? <sighs> also not. Oh shit. Power drills time. It is its turn. <laughs> Whatever. Yes! There you go. What now, bitch? Huh? There we go. Uh, it uh, unfortunately, I expected that it's gonna kind of melt inside the screw, but I got it out. Oh my god! They can't use the same length. No, the one I just put out is a little taller than that one. So those go on the bottom, and uh, the rest goes on the the case. So I suppose that one is a similar case. Let's see. Oh no, that one's uh, pretty dead. Let's try it again. No, that doesn't go, it doesn't go. So here we already have our first candidate. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's see if that one comes out normally. It still has some tread on it. Yes. All right, <laughs> let's move on to those two guys and see if they come out. Nope, doesn't wanna. Come on, come on. Nope, it's also not coming out. I see, we're gonna have a lot of fun with those two. Please, at least you. No. Ah, shit. POS. And it came loose. Man, I never thought I'd see that. It started to mess with it quite a bit, but then it finally bit the bullet and thought, all right, let's, let's go, it's time to go. So, yeah, those are those. We still have one though, so. Wish me luck a second time. That went out pretty well. I mean, I can feel it a little bit. 
getting loose, but they and these need to go out. There's no way. So, yeah. Now the fun starts. <sighs> I tried a lot of stuff. I really did. Uh, but I just I stripped them even more, all three of them, and I decided there's no way around it. There's no way around it. I need to drill them out. And uh, so I will be a hard watch for all the Apple fan sheeps because they say, hey, you can't do this, hey, poor Mac. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, but um, I, don't, I don't get this, this cold following of Apple that thinks they do everything right. I like Apple because I, otherwise I wouldn't own so many computers of them. But stuff like this is just... <laughs> I'm not saying that on PCs the screws don't get stuck out over years, but... But they, if it would be a normal screw, I no, it has to be this flat head, big screw thingy. So uh, this friend will help me. this thing hot <laughs> but oh wow I'm more than happy that this is finally out there it is piece of shit yeah we finally got our next hot customer here no so I've only got one left this one but uh, I'm gonna start and try to kind of lift this thing maybe this you know broke off as, as i thought it did of course it had to crush my dreams this one pos is holding this whole thing in so nicely you can't believe that it's like if uh, the other screws wouldn't even be necessary it's not moving an inch on this side even though these are out and there's nothing holding it anymore except this guy here so Everything's opened up, every screw is out, except that one that went inside the case. So, you're gonna have to put out the drill one more time. All right, the real ghetto ness is back, as if it ever was gone, but it really, if you had any doubts, now it's back. This thing does not wanna go out. It doesn't matter what you do. And unfortunately, I slipped and I drilled through the case right there. <laughs> now, it went only into this metal shield in the back, so it's not a problem actually. But, yeah, what can you do? You know, it's I tried everything. It just doesn't move an inch. Not a millimeter, nothing. It's still rock solid in there. That's what's moving is the case, not the screw. I've, I think I've never had such a bitchy screw like on a computer. Well, I went impatient again and slipped. And this time the poor drill couldn't take it and it broke. Yep, that was just too much for it. And as you can see, that is a lot of mess. And uh... Yeah, that, that's what happens when you don't have the right tools. Apparently, uh, you can't drill aluminium with a, a metal drill. Which is, of course, when I am trying to do it, the case. So, as you can see, what I'm, what I'm doing right here is very ghetto. and You shouldn't do it this way. You should do it properly, but when you can't do it properly, as we have shown you many, many times on this channel before. You have to improvise and get creative and destructive. So what I'll do is, yes, you guessed right, I'm making my way around the screw. And uh, first I did it with a drill a little bit, but that wouldn't really work. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna continue messing this plastic up here and it will definitely crack right there, probably. 
But you know, I don't care. Um, I want get in. I want to get inside of there, no matter what. Now I'm back at this point where I really don't give a shit anymore. I just want to see it open, and I I'm doing everything it takes. And this is the only thing that's stopping me. It would come right off, as you can see. But oh no, this screw. But it will get out. I promise you, I will not stop until this screw is out. This would have never come loose. Never. Ever. Whoa. Look at this damage. Wow. Incredible.